this is the Ripper 999 and today I'm going to talk about using save states for speedrun practice. I've spoken to a couple speedrunners and I was surprised to know that they didn't understand how to use save states with emulators. Save states for practice are great. Um, these speedrunners I was talking to, they spent months creating runs. And when I tried the game, it only took me maybe a week or two. It's not because I'm a better player. It's because of how I practice using the save states. I can go to a single part near the end of the game and practice it a hundred times straight in a couple minutes while they have to play through the entire game just to get to the part to practice it. So you can see how it can be extremely useful. So, the emulator I'm going to show you today is BizHawk. It's a high quality multi-system emulator. You can find it on their GitHub page and, and specifically that, if you're running uh, Windows, you want to get their binary Windows here. binaries. You do need requisites and they have that uh, here but basically you download it, extract it, and install it, and it should give you everything you need to actually run the emulator. And you can see these links up here, but you know, a Google search should be sufficient. See, this, is, this would be the top of the page, BizHawk, and then you just scroll down, and you can see how there's this installing section here. Click on the Windows binaries and you can install it. And once you get it all set up and you have the ROM, do not ask me about ROMs, I will delete the comments. You can run it and open it up. See, I have Super Mario Brothers. And this is a short game, but I believe people most people know about this game or have played it so you can see how it might be of use so I have a lot of save states here but to start with let's look at the controller you want to go to config and controllers any USB compatible controller should work with um, BizHawk you can set it up as you like I'm using a PS2 type controller for this, so you know, X and A, but however you like, doesn't really matter. And now, let's say you play the game and you have these slots. And I'm just gonna skip around. You can see how I have a lot of different saves in different spots. And of course, obviously, you can just reload them as you want. Let's say you screw up and you die. You know? What's it? Here we go. Yeah. Oh, I screwed up. It's literally the same state as that point, and you can reload it as many times as you like. This is extremely useful for practice. Like, there's a couple difficult tricks to do in the Mar Super Mario Brothers speedruns. One where you go between tiles, another where you have to, like, get the screen just right to teleport to the another screen to get the, uh, uh, the other levels, like one of the level warps. There's one where you have to, like, jump off a pipe. But all those parts, you can save state right before them. And you can practice them extensively before you actually do the actual run. It's the same thing as though you were a musician practicing a part. You wouldn't play the entire song just to practice a difficult part. What you do is you would practice the difficult part and just keep doing it until you get it. So now that I've spoken about that, when you want to make these save states, you know, you, you just go to file, save state, and you could save state here. Where is one where I can just overwrite it? 
this. I think I accidentally saved over like the intro screen. But say so I'm gonna start the game. I wanna practice it right here. So you go to file, save state, three. That was the that was the state that I want to uh, overwrite. So now that I've saved it, I can reload it as much as I like. And it's always gonna be that same state, save same state that you saved it as. You can load through the menu here as well, but I like using the shortcuts. Just click on the number and it'll uh, load the state, or you can right click to uh, save. Now I just saved it here at that point. It's a little bit before. Oops, I saved it right there. So there you go, you can save here, you know, right before the level starts. So when you, when you are practicing using save states, there's a couple things to keep in mind. One is that you want to identify the spot that you want to practice. I mean, it sounds obvious, but it may not be because you may only notice that you're dying in a part after spending, you know, a good amount of time on a section. If you notice that you die in a part, just immediately open up the emulator and start practicing it. It'll save you a ton of time. You should be able to do every difficult part nine times out of 10. That's what I found. It personally, it works great. Because if you don't get a high percentage of success on difficult parts, what happens is that when you have a lot of hard parts in succession, your chance of completing all those difficult parts in succession decreases a lot. Like let's say you only get 50% chance success on a part. You have two of those in a row and then you only have 25% chance of success. You know, it goes down dramatically pretty quickly. So good practice makes your actual runs much more successful. And let's talk about where you'd want to save state to practice a part. When you're practicing a, like a mechanics part, wherever you are uh, practicing it, it doesn't particularly matter. Like let's say I'm just practicing jumping up on the pipe and going in, you know, really simple stuff, but you don't need to save state anywhere in particular kind of to practice that. However, let's say that you wanted to practice something where it depends with enemies, you know, like, where was that spot? Here. You wouldn't want to save state here because the enemies have already moved forward. You would want to save state before the event that you want to practice would be modified, essentially. So in the Mario games, for this one anyway, you'd probably want to save state in be right before the level starts if you're gonna like go all the way through. Because a lot of games have randomness. When you're in a level and like the time is changing, the enemies might change position. I'm not sure about this game, but you wanna be careful where you save state. So you can get your practice in. You wouldn't want to save state apart where what you're getting isn't actually what you're gonna get. Like there, like this is a mechanics part, jumping kinda. But there's also those, um, those jumping uh, guys. As you can tell, I'm not very good at this game, but you can clearly see the use of the save states and loading. So if you have any other uh, questions or comments, just shoot me them in a, in a YouTube comment or, you know, hit me up on Discord or something of that sort and uh, we can talk more there. All right. Thank you for watching.